Hey everybody, I just wanted to touch base. I had some questions last night from a few of you um, that asked about um, those answers that were no solution. Um, some people were getting undefined and some things like that, and those are all fine. Those answers are all good. Um, they equate to no solution on that scrambled answer sheet. Um, and the reason for that really has to do with um, that part of the, of the equation that's under the square root symbol. A uh, few people asked about um, it being, uh, was it a no solution because A was negative or because, you know, maybe there wasn't a C or something like that. But really, it, it's it's derived from the fact that that number under the square root symbol becomes negative. So I think one of the questions, I think maybe number five, asked about, um, and I think it ended up being 36 minus 40 when you solve for B squared minus 4AC. Obviously, that's negative 4, so that would be the square root of negative 4, which doesn't exist in, in a real number system, right? So if you think back to what we talked about just before spring break when we found the discriminant, and the discriminant we used to find out how many solutions there were uh, for a quadratic, um, for a quadratic equation. So if you think back to what we talked about um, then, if you put those numbers in the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac, Remember, if you got a positive number, there were two solutions. If the answer was zero, it was it was one solution. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if it was negative, there were no solutions. And now we can kind of see why that is. I had mentioned at that point that there was a uh, that the discriminant was part of a larger equation that we would use, and that's called the quadratic formula, which is what we're doing uh, today, yesterday and today. The um, the fact that we have a negative number under the square root makes it a little bit easier to see why that's no solution. There's no way we can figure out the square root of negative 4 yet. You'll be able to in Algebra 2 in a couple years, but right now we don't know how to do that. So anytime we end up with a negative number under the square root symbol uh, in the, using the quadratic formula, the answer will be no solution. So keep that in mind for today's homework. If you've got any questions, shoot me an email. I'll be around. Um, you guys are doing great work. Keep it up.